So here we have the old and the new top mounts. If you have a look inside, you can see on the new one, you've got the rubber just inside there, and the old one, the rubber has perished away. And the same on the rear, you look inside on the new one, you can see the rubber there. On the old one, that's, that's perished again. So hopefully that should make quite a big difference once these are back on the car with the new shock absorbers. Now here we have all the parts for reassembling the shock absorbent mechanism of the, of the cover, the bump stop, the top mount and the washer and then the top nut. So the first part is the cover, then the bump stop which goes out that way with the larger end which will sit inside the top mount. And the top mount, the washer, and the nut. And that's how it all fits together. So refitting the shock absorber is very simple. Literally, there's two bolts here. And then a single bolt that connects the shock absorber to the axle. And this one you can see I've got a brand new bolt that I've fitted here. Um, often do that to make sure we've got the best components fitted.